Hello friends, Idaho Garden Girl here. Um, I just wanted to let you know uh, what is going on here. You can tell I'm wearing a, a sweatshirt, a hooded sweatshirt, but um, as I'm just walking over here, as you can see, uh, we got snow last night. It started snowing, I don't know, uh, nine o'clock, something like that, 10 o'clock. And it's been, before that, it had been raining. And so it's just been coming down. I, I think, you know, all totaled, um, we might have about, what, a tenth of an inch, maybe? Not of snow, but of moisture. And um, we just don't get a whole lot of moisture here. Most of it comes sometime between November and, like, February, March. Um, so this is the start, I guess. I'm headed out to the chickens and I'll let you um, see the way. So I don't have any running water out here where the chickens are. So um, as soon as the as soon as the water is shut off uh, in the fall, I use a hose. And then once the water gets, uh, once it gets really cold, like now, uh, the hose, of course, uh, won't work because it freezes solid. So I have to haul water from the house. So here we go. I've already made it all the way over here to the gate. Oops. I'm going to feed the chickens uh, first. They're pretty hungry. They still have a little bit of water over there that hasn't frozen solid, so um, they're not terribly thirsty, but they are hungry, so I'm going to feed them. Eager. There we go. for the water. So the chickens are happy now. Plenty of food. 
I gathered the eggs. They're starting to slow down. I'm not getting quite as many eggs now as I have been. And that's probably a good thing because I have quite a few of them uh, saved up. Um, anyway, it's time to head back to the house. So this is the bed where I am going to put my garlic and um, these are the wonderberry plants and over there are some of the uh, ground cherries and these didn't fully develop they're basically empty so um, I got all the ones that were full so I'm just gonna have a quick clean up here So all the weeds are gone, and I've been planting the garlic. Um, first I sprinkle some bone meal and some kelp meal and some fertilizer um, on the top, and then I uh, rake that in. Um, and then I dig down and I plant the cloves about six inches apart and about four, four and a half, five inches deep. So I've already I've already done these four varieties here. Uh, after every after I plant every variety, I put a a stick across and a marker to identify it. So I've got four different varieties there so far, and I have two more to go, which is going to go in this area. I have one, I believe, that's a garlic left over from last year and I think that's where the elephant garlic was so it's just gonna stay there and we'll see what happens in the spring right so I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these planted So that's the garlic all planted. Um, I put the wire on top to keep the cats out. Um, I'm about to lose light. The sun's gone down and I'm about to lose my battery. So I just wanted to show you the finished garlic bed. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, this is the Idaho Garden Girl signing out. Bye for now.